Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I wanted to show you how I'm going to put together the Lint kit from Illustrated Faith in their Print and Pray shop. I will go ahead and link it down below. So I've gone ahead and printed out most of the sheets that come in the kit on just some plain 65 pound uh, white cardstock. And that's what I'm showing you here. And then the elements that are meant to be cut apart, I went ahead and printed those out on some clear uh, label, like sticker paper. Um, I'll go ahead and link that down below. Mine is specifically for a laser printer. It cannot be used in an inkjet printer. So just be aware of that. So I went ahead and printed those out on that. And then I put this sheet together. What I did was I pulled the sheets into Photoshop and pulled off some of those floral elements and pieced them all together on one sheet so that then I could just print them all out together and have some extra little floral bits that I could cut out. And then here I have a piece of scrapbook paper that's cut by to eight and a half inches by nine inches and that's going to be the cover to my notebook. So now I'm just going to begin assembling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these full sheets and use my scoreboard to score down the middle. And I've done these notebooks several different ways. You could cut them apart and then use washi tape to tape them all together. But I wanted to keep this really simple and easy and not fussy. I find that if I put way too much effort into it, then I just feel pressure that I need to create this amazing project on the inside of it. And that's not really how I want to tackle this particular kit. So I've gone ahead and just scored that and folded it and used my bone folder to sharpen that crease. And off camera, I had gone ahead and done that for the rest of these pages here. So now you're just going to put it together how you want the order of your booklet to be. So this top page is going to be the center of the booklet. So you'll see you'll have one printed page and then a blank page, a printed page and a blank page. Um, my plan will be to write prayers or notes on the printed page and then use the blank page for any art journaling that I might want to do um, That if I'm not going to be doing it in my Bible or maybe just both. So you can see how that looks there. And then I'll go ahead and slip that scrapbook paper over the outside. And you'll see that the pages stick out. I'm going to take care of that in um, just a few minutes here. So the book will be actually the size of that pink paper. Now here I'm using a long arm stapler to bind the booklet. You could use a stitching method. I will link a video up in the top right hand corner now showing um, how you can do that without a long arm stapler. Um, I make these notebooks pretty frequently, so I just went ahead and bought the stapler because it's really quick to use. So now you can see how this is put together. We still have a little bit left to clean it up here. So we're gonna trim off all the excess cardstock. So I'm gonna use a paper trimmer for that. You could very easily use a metal ruler, an X-Acto knife or something like that. Um, it's a little thick for my trimmer, so you have to make several passes and then I'll have to flip it over and uh, go from the back side as well. But then it'll be a flush, even edge to the booklet. You can see here it's taking a few passes, but uh, it's better to use lighter pressure and go over it multiple times than just to try to you know, go at it all in one cut. It seems to kind of pull the paper if I'm not careful. And there you go. So the finished booklet is eight and a half inches tall by four and a half inches wide. And that fits right into a traveler's notebook cover very easily. So here, this is the um, first page that prints out. And I'm gonna cut this down and insert it into the front. And this page here just kind of explains what Lent is. For me, I'm not Catholic, but I'm still gonna observe Lent kind of in the same way that I do Advent. So it's just gonna be a period of time leading up to Easter where I'm gonna focus on my prayer life, um, just really being intentional about how I serve and just spending a time on studying and reflecting uh, just on the stories and the telling of the time leading up to Christ's death and his resurrection. So it's just going to be a time of reflection for me. I'm not necessarily going to fast or do anything like that. I may cut out just some extra um, TV time or lounge time and use that time um, more intentionally to study and just spend time in the word and in my prayers. So. Um, it's not going to be 
about ritual or anything like that for me. It's just going to be a focused time um, in God's word. So I've gone ahead and cut these down so they'll fit in the inside cover of my booklet. And I'll just use some dry adhesive runner. This particular one I just picked up from the dollar store and it seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to apply plenty of adhesive to that and then I'll just go ahead and stick that down on the inside cover. And it does have some scripture suggestions and things like that that you can use throughout the time. Um, typically Lent is 40 days. So, And in the back of the booklet you also have a little checkoff sheet for the 40 days leading up to Lent. So that is it. That's how I put that together. Um, I went ahead and took this piece from the top of that first sheet that I cut off. And I'm just going to adhere that to the outside of my booklet. That way it kind of acts like a title. Um, I definitely could go into some more embellishing on the front. But like I said, I just want to keep it really simple. So for me, I will mostly do, be doing my art journaling in my Bible. And then I'll just be taking some notes and some reflections and things like that in this particular booklet. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment down below. I do check those and answer those. Be sure to check the description bar down below this video. I'll have links to the products used in the video, including where you can get the kit from Illustrated Faith. So here I'm showing you these little cut aparts. And I'll be using those mostly in my Bible. The great thing about the Print and Pray Shop is you can print these out over and over and over again once you've bought it. So it's a great little kit to have. And that's it. Be sure to also check out the giveaway that's going on on my channel. I'll have that linked um, up in the right-hand corner now. And be sure to enter that. That'll be ending March 1st. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.